thousands of Egyptians have been taking to the streets to celebrate the election of their new president. Abdel Fattah al-Sisi won more than 90% of the vote, and his supporters believe he'll bring much-needed stability to the country. Panina Kariba reports from Cairo. Even before polls could close, Egyptians in Cairo were in a party mood. It's been three grueling days of voting, and for those who support Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, it was a chance to once again show their support. Thousands poured into the streets, waving Egyptian flags. In some parts of the city, police were forced to close down some streets to try and better control the crowds. Long live Egypt, he says. Long live Egypt. It's a slogan that's become quite popular here since voting started. Thus to celebrate the greatest day of Egypt, we have restored our country again from the terrorism. We are going to fight them again. We are going to restore our country, to put it on the stand, to be forward again. It was the epicenter of the 2011 revolution that ousted Hosni Mubarak. Tonight, however, Tahrir Square is hosting throngs of Egyptians celebrating what they hope is a new dawn for their country. Well, we'll know in a few days whether Sisi has indeed won this election. But for the people gathered here, it's already a fact. His critics, though, say the low voter turnout means he may not get the strong mandate he was hoping for. His supporters will hear none of it. Those people who have the certain agenda, those are supporting the terrorism, Muslim Brotherhood, and those small young people who are going to on Facebook and Twitter who does not know anything about it. All their culture is coming from the just tweeting. Just know this all their culture, but you do not know Egypt. Egypt, this is Egypt. Cairo may be celebrating now, but two major hurdles remain for the country. First, the results of this election. And second, should Sisi win, he will be responsible for fulfilling the hopes of the people gathered here. Penina Karibe, CCTV in Cairo, Egypt.